okay, so you say it, the process, just going through the process is a catalyst for opportunity to, to make things happen, right? To out some people or, or, or whatnot. Um, Nancy Pelosi isn't interested in, in that. Is she the true gatekeeper here? Is there, is, do we have to slay that dragon to move forward or is there something we can do? She is at least the closest thing to a singular decision maker. Uh, you know, it could be the case that if the Progressive Caucus and some of the other caucuses in the House were able to unite and, uh, uh, you know, basically force that question, what that would look like effectively is a challenge to the speakership. Um, so at the end of the day, the Speaker of the House is the most individually empowered person to, to proceed here. And without her support, it will be very difficult to make impeachment move. You know, the House is notoriously centralized in terms of the body's institutional influence being wielded effectively by the Speaker. It's one reason why the Speaker of the House is one of the most powerful people in government. There aren't many other branches, uh, except for the presidency, where a single individual embodies the institutional power of a branch of government. Um, you know, it's not true on the Supreme Court, it's not true in the Senate. It's just the House and the White and the uh, executive branch that have that sort of personified authority. Yeah. Um, and it is very much, again, the Speaker's constitutional, not just opportunity, but I do want to make this point, constitutional responsibility Agreed. to to take advantage of the of, of, of the of the Mueller report, to pursue the facts with respect to a monument, to initiate the investigations that will lead to the discovery of the facts that will make the public case for impeachment. When we look at the Mueller report, you know, a lot of it's been misrepresented, particularly because Attorney General Barr was misrepresenting it in public before, uh, you know, anybody else saw it. But the Mueller report, properly understood, is an invitation to impeachment, at least on a set of grounds. I think that the emoluments clause is the more important thing on which to focus. Uh, but, but we should see the Mueller report in that context as an invitation to the House to frankly show up for work and do its job, and, and then to put it to the Senate. And if GOP senators aren't going to follow the facts, if they're going to demonstrate a political favoritism and look the other way, uh, while the president is engaged in sustained criminality, well, then put that before the American people and force them on the record, because those will be decisions, frankly, that Democratic candidates for Senate can run against those GOP senators for. But the only way you get that is if you file the articles of impeachment and you force them to cast the votes. So, you know, I think Pelosi's reticence here is 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 more than simply weak. It is uh, unfortunately unacceptable. And I think we really have to make sure that we do better.